get a medal in Beijing or not. Um, the future belongs to her. So we will go down to the start now for the next event, the women's pairs. And in lane one, that is the least fast qualifiers, the reigning champions from 2007, Yulia Bicic and Natalia Helak from Belarus. Next to them, the United States second crew, Susanna Francia and Anna Goodell. And next to them, the European champions, the first European champions since uh, 30 years, Lenka Vech and Maren Derlian of Germany, representing Germany this year, and Sarah Siegelar and Anmiek Dehan from Netherlands in lane four. China, Yu Wu and Yulan Go in lane five. And the United States, Caroline Lind and Eleanor Logan in lane six. Clean start. And uh, we come straight in on uh, Sarah Sigalar and Anmiak Dehan. And indeed, it is not them, but it is China. Yu Wu and Yulan Gao who have uh, shot into the lead. Uh, last year's medalists, we have, as I said in the introduction, Belarus. Yulia Bicic and uh, Natalia Helak, the gold medalists over in lane one. And um, the German crew, Nicole Zimmermann, Elke Hippler, who was second this time last year, are in uh, their eight. Elke Hippler is. And uh, Romania, Andronaci and Violeta Susanu, who were bronze medalists last year, are also in the Romanian eight. They may well double up later on in the season if it doesn't go well for their selected pairs but for the moment they are not doubling up at this regatta and are to be found in the eight so we have China in lane two now confidently in the lead here and uh, they are being chased by the rest of the field with at the moment Germany one Lenka Vech and Maren Darlian in second place. Five hundred meters gone. China now set up a very solid lead, length and a half. That's a big lead. Germany and Netherlands in that order in silver and bronze medal position behind them. Think of Ech, the blonde hair and the bow seat of Germany there. Quick look around to see where China are and whether there's something that can be done about pulling them back. But um, this wind, which remains straight ahead, is um, causing them one or two steering problems for China. But um, 750 meters gone, they're crossing the lane a little bit, but still confidently up. And very strong the Chinese program. There's a team here which looks to contain several of their known best boats, but also contains some trial boats. And um, it is part of an absolutely huge program spread right across China. And the success they achieve is largely down to the pulling in of such a large number of athletes and training them extremely hard in competition with one another that um, it is often said that the Chinese national championships are a bigger prize and a harder race than uh, they find at world championships. So um, 
to make it onto the selection for this regatta. Coming up to the halfway point, 1,000 metres. China still well in front, but Germany showing very well indeed. They got pushed across the lane, and um, uh, Marin Derlien in the stroke seat there, the left of your picture, she caught a boy briefly as they were coming up, so they too were having trouble. This is the United States crew on the in lane two on the far side. Sorry, that's the lane six crew, Caroline Lind and Eleanor Logan. And uh, nevertheless, we're back to China in lane five. Second fastest qualifiers for this race, but undoubtedly commanding uh, here the final today. So Germany hanging on to them. The only crew, really, that's managing to match the Chinese for pace. Look at the style of those uh, that Chinese crew. They've got... You can see the miles. You can see the way they just lean into the wind and draw the blade home. They've mileage makes champions, and these women have certainly put up the miles. 750 meters to go, a length, no, half a length of open water on Germany, and uh, United States one. That's the crew in lane six. Is now in third place. Netherlands in fourth, Belarus in fifth, and USA number two, 13 seconds adrift in sixth place. Netherlands there. In the picture with um, Sarah Siegelaar on the right of your picture in the bow seat, and uh, Anmiek de Haan, both 27 years old. 26, sorry, they haven't had their birthdays yet. 26 years old this year. And uh, pulling away. The Dutch women's eight is also strong. Qualified well yesterday through the repechage, coached by Rene Minders. And uh, he'll be wondering whether to pull this pair if they do well into his eight to strengthen it or to leave them in the pair. His first boat choice is success in the eight, and um, these two athletes will be athletes numbers <coughs> nine and ten, as it were, on his rankings in the pair. That's the uh, USA crew on the far side. Susanna Francia and Anna Goodell. Ah, back to the leaders as we come into the last 250 meters. We'll see the 250 to go mark in the background. China now, still rather, not now, still very comfortably ahead of Germany, increasing their lead. Germany in second place and USA first crew in third bronze medal position, but probably too far behind to think seriously of catching up the crew that's in the back of your picture at the moment, the far side of your far end of the picture, Lenkerbeck and Maren Derlian of Germany, who are, as I say, European champions. They were spares for, and in the eight for 2007 World Championships. They got sent to the European Championships, the inaugural European Championships after a break of 30 years, were held in Poznan, Poland last year. They won that and uh, have got the pair spot for this. And... Uh, now, several seconds adrift of China as China come up to the line and take the win now in and pole position on the World Cup with Germany in second place. USA one in third place. Netherlands through the line in fourth. And... Uh, Belarus and USA, two in that order, through the line in fifth and sixth. But a comprehensive win, really in front from 150 metres gone for China in the women's pairs. First World Cup going to China. Marin Delian on the left of your picture there. Pretty... Uh, Took a bit out of herself there with her partner, Lenka Vech. 
just in picture there, smiling happily, and come on, get, take some pleasure from it. But um, stiff wrist, maybe she's just shaking off her wrist there, the stroke, um, Yulan Gao of China, shaking off her wrist because in this headwind, the temptation to grip the oar handles, you can see her holding on there, that's the outside hand, she shouldn't be gripping with that, it should be the inside hand that stiffens up if anything does, but the temptation to grip the oar handles to prevent an accident, to prevent any danger of um, catching a crab, means that you sometimes stiffen up in the forearm in a headwind like this, and it's one of the arts of rowing.